There really are way too many units here. Oh, most of these are actually mine. Oh, well. <laughs> I was like, yes, there are a lot of enemy units here, but no, no, they're actually mine. Ah, oh, fantastic. Hello reformers and welcome back to Warsword Conquest and we are once again here in Empire Territory ready to besiege Averheim and uh, hopefully we will be able to take this without any problems whatsoever. I think we might have a good shot because obviously most of the time if we get a good layout in terms of the siege then uh, well everything's gonna go very nicely indeed. Uh, wow okay wait a second right here this is crazy. This is an amazing layout. Have you, have you seen this? Have you seen this with your own eyes? Well, of course, I think you probably have. Anyway, we are going to get our people into position. I just need to make sure that we are the closest possible, but not too close. You know, we need to make sure that our gunners are in a decent enough position. I think this is pretty decent. Skeezel, you're kind of lazy, aren't you? Oh well, never mind. Let us uh, <laughs> let us not bother him any further, because of course he is going to be in camp with a pretty bad headache. Pretty big case of, well, bullet in face, I guess. He did get killed pretty quickly, but uh, he does only have a pole arm. He does not have a shield of any kind, so of course he is probably going to have a bit of an issue with that. Anyway, as you can see, this is going very, very well indeed. And uh, I guess this is going to give me an opportunity to maybe... Oh, wow. Okay. Apparently not. I was thinking to myself, yes, I might actually be able to get a couple of kills. Maybe a little bit of experience, you know, against some uh, higher tier units. Because obviously higher tier units, kind of difficult to, to kill for Slive. Because in general, unless I get a little bit lucky with a pistol shot or uh, I use some kind of damaging magic. Which, of course, I don't have. I don't have that much damaging magic. I have a lot of debuffing, debilitating, and, uh, well, somewhat converting magic, but I don't have anything that does direct damage just yet. I think we, there, there are actually some spells that do direct damage. I do need to be a bit careful, though, because I really do not want to die in this siege. I feel like dying in this siege would be really bad, so I'm going to try and see if I can just make sure I don't take any additional damage from now. Of course, I cannot use health potions. So let me see if I can, I can actually get a little... Really? Ah, oh, yes. Okay, so here's the thing. It seems like our gunners are so incredibly effective from this range, and indeed from this angle, that I'm barely able to get any kills whatsoever. But I guess what I can do is I can kind of act as a bit of a, a bait, I guess. I can kind of act as bait for the enemies to kind of come out on the ladder and just get shot immediately. So I guess that's a pretty decent thing. There we go. There we go. Okay, maybe... Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, so obviously thanks to the fact that bullets do generally tend to go through shields, at least partially, we are able to get some damage off here, but for the most part it is kind of... Ow. That really hurt. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, I think I think that's pretty pretty decent. Are they not going to charge automatically? Oh dear. Can I? Oh no. Okay, so they're not going to charge automatically, and those guys outside, uh, what well, shall we say, here in the in the courtyard, they are not really going to do. Are they? Are they actually going to slowly move towards us? Because I actually thought my people were going to charge. Uh, yes. I, I. You know what? Should have charged my infantry beforehand. Alright, so upon retreating, we are going to miss out on that small amount of renown, but obviously the renown is not really needed any further. We do have a pretty significant party size as it is, so we don't really need to worry about that. But then, there we go. We can just say, you'll be ransomed and your soldiers will live. Technically, I wouldn't say this in terms of a roleplay standpoint, because obviously Skaven... They don't, they don't really do this negotiating thing, do they? Or at least I don't think they do, if... Uh, Warhammer Vermintide is anything to go by, but uh, yes, anyway, point is, it is uh, highly unlikely that that would have been happening. Anyway, let's get a Slaneshi Knight. I'm looking forward to trying out those Chaos units. And, uh, okay, so let's have a look. Anything here? Nothing really much, but I'm going to take a little bit just to sell. And now, here's the thing. I'm not entirely sure in the world of Warsword Conquest whether you can attract enemy vassals to join you. 
I don't know whether that's a thing, but if it is, because eh, I thought I thought I heard something actually where someone said that that had been changed. But if it hasn't been changed, then I think it would be a good idea to try and defer appointment of a lord at least a little bit here. Obviously, I wanted to give Valans a, a couple more castles and villages just to make sure that his recuperation rate was a little bit quicker. But I think for this, we're just going to defer appointment for the moment, and we're going to just have. A couple of fiefs, not too many, obviously, but a couple of fiefs just available, really. Just available for a potential vassal if they want land. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to attract some people as a result. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on, shall we? Let's move on and actually get somewhere else. Now you can see here that obviously our two other fiefs that we recently captured are still within our control apart from this one which is currently under siege. So obviously we will need to react in a way where we will be able to capture something else. So there's something else here, 203 units. The other one had about 180 by the way. And uh, ah, seems like Katja is not actually available for her engineering. And I think I'm probably pretty low as well. So, uh, hmm. Yes, I'm at 15%. That's not good at all. That really is not good at all. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of stand here a little bit. I don't really want to do that, to be honest, for too long. Let's see. Yes, there we go. Okay, she's back on her feet. So hopefully we will be able to do this. It seems like a village is being is being raided and there are a couple of vassals nearby to us as well. So we do need to be a bit cautious of that. But what I'm trying to do is beat the AI. I'm trying to beat the AI to the punch, really, because... They are going to be pretty slow in besieging things, and I'm going to try and, uh, you know, get there before they can. That's basically it. Anyway, let's go in and see what we can do here. I don't know whether it's going to be such a favorable layout. Ooh, this layout is bad. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, this, this layout is pretty bad for us, actually. There is no clear... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We might actually be able to make... Mm, can we make something happen here? I don't know. We might be able to be a bit sneaky. Skaven sneaky. Level 10 enabled. <laughs> yeah, this is... Yeah, this is maybe going to be okay. I just need to check around the side here at whether this is actually possible because if we can get on the side here with our, uh, with our archers and gunners... No, this does not seem to be possible. Okay. That is not very good. I feel like that is going to be kind of kind of tricky, but we're going to see what we can do about it. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. Uh, hmm. I guess I could just go... Okay, so yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'm going to die. I'm going to die here. I'm going to try and see if I can just run away a little, little bit and just try and protect myself. This is a very difficult layout. This is very, very difficult indeed. I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to do this, but I suppose we'll just have to try our best, uh, especially with a ranged army. This would be very easy if I had a whole bunch of infantry, that's for sure. All right, so uh, yeah, I actually did back out of that particular siege. Interestingly enough, though, we were able to eliminate about 50 of the enemy units. I have no idea how that even happened, to be honest. I didn't see many kills happening, but apparently that was the case because I left it and it had about 155 units in there. So that's pretty good. Otherwise, on a much more positive note, we were able to get a letter back from High King Setra, and he has addressed us and recognized us as a sovereign and independent monarch, as you can see right here. And we gained some right to rule from this. I have no idea how much right to rule we have right now. I believe, didn't we Didn't we gain a huge amount in the previous episode? I think we gained like, I don't know, 14 or something right to rule just from making peace with, with the dwarves or something like that. And uh, hopefully this is going to give us another 10. I think that th this will give us another 10. Anyway, as you can see, I'm right here. I actually had to run away a little bit because there is Lord Blackadder in the distance. There's also someone else around there being a little bit of a nuisance. So I am going to see if maybe what we can do while they are busy with one of our fiefs here. I was thinking maybe we should try and take the town itself. If we try and take the town and uh, maybe 
get a bit lucky with the layout, then I think we will be in a very, very good position. Let's have a look here. There's a lot of dwarf... Uh, there's a lot of dwarves here, a lot of dwarf vassals. I'm actually kind of surprised and uh, maybe a little bit perplexed because I am not at war against the dwarves, so I'm not too sure what happens if we try to siege this. I have 36% HP... I guess we're just going to have to go in and see if it's a siege tower or not. If it's a siege tower, then it might be too difficult. It's not. It is a ladder town, and I think we have a very good chance of taking it. I have to be a bit quick if a vassal comes out of nowhere here. Okay. Uh, uh. Ooh, that was close. That was close. There were a couple of vassals coming in, and thankfully we were able to do this beforehand. Okay, so let's take a look at the layout. The layout is the biggest thing that we have to take into account here because if it's a bad layout then I think we will have some problems. Okay, okay. This is kind of... That is very bad. That was very, very bad indeed. And... I will have to retreat immediately. Yep, I'll have to retreat immediately. Uh, yeah. That is, that is really bad. Oh well. Ah. Uh, there's not much I could do about that. I literally just got shot in the middle of my entire army. Very strange. I, I, I find it very, very annoying when that happens. And I'm sure many other people do as well. But anyway, there you go. Okay, so that was our uh, little foray into the town there. It looked like a, it, it had a really, really cool layout. But hopefully we'll be able to go in there when I've recovered. All right, so in the meantime, while I'm just regenerating, I thought it might be a nice idea for us to send out another emissary. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do it to the Wood Elves. So we're going to send him over to the Wood Elves, and we are going to enter into a truce, or we're going to attempt to do that with the Wood Elves. So let's see. Nagrat, yes, you are going to go off and do that. There we go. Fantastic. And I think I'm going to see if I can maybe get another patrol out here. No, another two days. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. So I think now that we're back at Karakhan, it might be a nice idea for us to head back. I think it is going to probably... Yeah, I'm at 100% HP now. Why am I at 100%? Did you see me in there? Did you see me in the, uh, the Lord's Hall just there? I was literally at about 60% HP, but apparently it now says that I'm at 100. So... I don't know what happened with that, but okay. But uh, Katja is obviously doing a very, very good job. And uh, we're going to head into the town once again. I think we should have a pretty easy time of it once we get inside. If I get killed again immediately, then uh, I think we'll probably just chalk it up to bad luck. And I will not ever come in here again. Or at least not in this episode. So let's have a look and see if I'm able to survive a little bit better. I'm going to bring out my shield almost immediately because apparently the AI has a bit of a bit of an issue with, uh, shall we say, targeting people without shields. They will focus people without shields. So let me see if I can do something a little bit here. Yeah, it seems like that is indeed the case. And we are going to see if I can just get my people in a decent enough position to, well, murder everything. Let's see if they, they're actually going to start doing that. Yes, yes, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so this is exactly what we want to have happen. And uh, are those are those dwarves actually fighting me right now? If those dwarves are actually fighting me, this is really not very good. I mean, uh, I would have expected them to kind of not join the battle, but, well, I guess if that's how it has to be, then that's how it has to be. Yeah, I should really put Katya, by the way, in a different unit category because at the moment she is in the archer category and she is obviously being killed just as easily as any other archer and that's not very good because of course she is our medic and having our medic on the front lines or near the front lines is never a good idea so I should probably do something about that relatively soon and uh, yeah actually you know what maybe we should just tell our people to charge in I mean, we're being eliminated pretty quickly here, but I don't think we need to worry too much about it. I mean, if these guys literally just get knocked unconscious consistently, then I think we're going to be pretty fine. But obviously, there's a couple of slayers here as well. There's that giant slayer. Look at that. Ignore pain. Soaked 45 damage for that guy. I need to get some ignore pain on uh, Slythe, I think. That's probably going to make a big, big difference to 
his survivability and I know that uh, it would make things much easier for us and let's see if I can oh look at that there's actually a top level here that's pretty cool all right so do I want to start charging in here because we've already eliminated 61 this feels very much to me like a war of attrition and I'm not a big fan of those I'd like to just go in to a particular fief take it in a very very fast manner and then you know go somewhere else do whatever I need to do and so on because I feel like if, if we're gonna do a war of attrition it's going to leave us a little bit too weak in my opinion and I mean we've got a rat ogre here that's granted I'm hopeful that the rat ogre will actually prove to be very very useful never mind you see that you see that that's exactly why I thought to myself probably not the best idea to send our infantry in all right, so this actually seems to be a bit of a better setup than what we had last time when we were in here. I actually did try to move all of my engineers up to the ladders themselves and just ordered them to stand as close to each other as possible because it seemed as though they needed to get into a stable and, and sh shall we say, stationary position for them to be able to do that. And I'm talking about all of them, for them to be able to fire needed to be standing still and if one of them in the line is moving then it disrupts everyone else for some reason i don't know why that happens it's just an ai behavior of some kind but yeah having these guys all stand like this that is the only way i could find to get these engineers to fire so thankfully as you can see we've already eliminated about 25 of the enemy's units and well this is the thing i've come to the place that we ran away from beforehand and yeah, well, that was my own bad. You know what? The uh, various units that you can get as Chaos look extremely menacing. Look at this guy. What? What, 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 what kind of design is that? That's crazy. That's really, really cool looking, actually. Kind of kind of monstrous, uh, you know, kind of. Uh, yes, anyway, we are going to take a little bit of a more of aggressive approach here, with the exception of obviously me dying every single time. We're probably going to tell our infantry and our cavalry to charge in here, because it feels to me like what we need to do is clear out the battlements as much as we can, and then just get our gunners to stand on the battlements and try and get some kills that way, because it seems to me like we're not actually able to get anywhere with our gunners outside the walls so we are going to need to penetrate the defenses in more ways than one and uh, yes that's going to be a little bit difficult a little bit difficult especially considering these guys right here oh yeah nice headshot nice headshot slive you weren't able to kill the other one though so I'm pretty sure you're going to die soon yes pretty sure anyway let's see if I can Really? That was oh, two misses? Are you serious? Come on now. Ah, oh well, never mind. I guess uh, we're gonna just have to try our best to... Wow, there's so many. There really are way too many units here. Oh, most of these are actually mine. Oh well. <laughs> I was like, yes, there are a lot of enemy units here, but no, no, they're actually mine. Ah, oh, fantastic. Okay, well, hopefully I'll be able to get past here and maybe take out the gunners because those gunners are eventually going to start firing on us and uh, we want to make sure that we don't necessarily die from them thank you I don't mind taking an axe to the face but taking a bullet to the face is a bit different you know it's like it's like you got cheaped up a bit you know you're just like ah you're dead I see instant death <laughs> yeah that kind of thing anyway seems like there's only one remaining here anyway so nothing really to worry about and I think we're good actually yeah I think that's what it needed these kinds of layouts seem to need a bit more of an aggressive approach rather than the turtle style that I've been adopting most of the time because we just have so many gunners and I have lost quite a few gunners over the past couple of siege attempts at the town at, at, and at this place obviously previously and uh, yeah those things really did I really just uh, never mind I knocked I knocked one of the rat ogres unconscious but that's not really a big deal because he's only unconscious so he's gonna be back on his feet nomming on everyone's faces very very soon so that's pretty good otherwise oh we did lose eight yeah we lost about eight there which is not exactly bad i mean there's only 107 only 107 in the garrison there because we had worn them down over such a long period of time and i was actually hoping that we'd be able to expand our influence a little bit more than we have already but 
well, I guess that's just how it goes sometimes, especially considering the Empire can sometimes be very good at defense, depending on the layout, as I say. Anyway, this is a long rifle musket. Definitely not something I'm planning on using, but maybe I'll use what the Gisales are using. I know that there was a comment that said that it might be an idea for us to do that, because then we have a long range option that is capable of hitting extremely hard and does have great accuracy too. Anyway, I'm not entirely sure what I should do here. I think I'm probably going to give this to Lord Valance. I think we've already, uh, we've, we already have a castle for offering to a, you know, a potential vassal, but maybe we need a couple more. So I, I suppose that's what we'll do. We're going to try and find the next target for us to take. Not entirely sure where that's going to be, but I think it's going to be a castle of some kind. I think that's probably going to be the best option for us because this town, even though I would love to be able to take it, and it does seem reasonably easy, it's, well, I'm, I'm not saying easy, but it seems like, it seems like one of those, mm, not a, not a difficult one, not like a, a, a very frustratingly difficult, impossible kind of thing. It seems doable, but it does have that kind of Mm, a weird ladder set up and it's going to make things a bit difficult for us but of course the one thing that we have to take away from that is that our gunners can do quite a bit of damage there so if I do want to adopt the war of attrition style at some point to get that population down in Nuln then hopefully we will be able to do that and ah it seems like Averheim is now actually under siege by a wood elf by a wood elf are you? So I've sent out an envoy, an emissary of peace to you fellows, and now you're just like, oh. <laughs> and now you're just like, ah, here's a whole bunch of our vassals. Isn't that nice of them? Okay, well, we're actually, whoa, okay. We are getting a huge amount of money. I, I have no idea why Carrick Hearn is making so much money. I think what's happening here is that there are so many caravans passing by Carrick Hearn, that they are being taxed, and I think the tariffs are from that, maybe? Is that is that it? I'm not entirely sure. The trading system has never been a thing that I've been too well versed in. Anyway, there's actually a... Oh, that's actually the Tsar himself. Oh, okay. Let's, uh, let's avoid him, shall we? I'm gonna go over here. I don't really feel like fighting a whole band of wood elves, that's for sure. And, ah, okay, so let's have a look. Ah. He is inclined to continue the war against Slythe, but he is willing to consider a truce of 20 days if you pay him 15,000. I don't have 15,000, unfortunately. Well, not in my not in my inventory at the moment. I do have 15,000 in the treasury, so that's kind of unfortunate, but oh well, never mind. I can always send out Nagrat again, I guess, and maybe get a better deal next time. Ah, okay, so there's the Arch Lecter. I was going to try and take this because it doesn't seem too difficult for us. Hmm, where else could I take? That's basically it. That's basically the only thing I can take. As you can see, we've actually taken a pretty big bite out of their territory. I mean, it's obviously not the biggest it could be because they do have still a pretty significant amount of territory, but I think we're, I think we're on the way to doing a good thing by ridding the land of the empire. And uh, I think next time we're going to be fighting this guy and trying to take this castle. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.